What's up, YouTube? Just wanted to do a quick review on this Dev Sport front splitter that I got for my car's a 2009 Civic Si, and uh, I got the full HFP whip kit on it. So yeah, I think this ended up running me, I think it was like 130 with the, uh, the support rods, and um, I think the shipping for me was like 30 bucks, but it calculates it based on where you live, so 160 shipped, and uh, I think it looks pretty good. I was going to do um, an install video on this, but it ended up being a little bit more work than I thought and I got kind of involved and, and didn't even uh, film it so but yeah I got like I don't know if you all can see it but I got like pieces of foam in between the bolts to this you can kind of see that when I'm gonna have to paint that or something but there's some in between I don't know if you can see this but I got bolts Going through the bottom with lock nuts. I had to actually go buy different bolts and came with it because uh, I'm pretty sure this is designed to use without the HFP kit, like this lip right here that goes around because this makes it gives it all kinds of weird angles and stuff. It's not really flat. The bumper without that's pretty flat, so it would go right up against it. But I had kind of some hard times trying to figure out where to drill all the holes and everything, but I ended up drilling one. There's one right behind that, there's a bolt there, bolt there, and then it's the same on this side, and then just the two support rods in the middle, but I mean it's, it's on there pretty good, it's pretty sturdy, so yeah, uh, I haven't even driven it yet with it on there, but uh, I couldn't really tighten the bolt, I tightened them down pretty good, but I couldn't tighten them down a lot because I didn't want to end up splitting the, uh, the, the plastic like by putting too much pressure so I did go out and get some lock nuts and washers so hopefully that'll hold up I'm gonna check it you know every, every couple days for a while and see how it's holding up but it seems pretty sturdy and I drilled these up in here through the bumper those were kind of a pain to get the drill in there did that measured these out and these they don't come with holes you kind of pick where you want them. You can do the rods at an angle from the inside to the outside. You can do them straight like I did it. But uh, yeah, I think it came out pretty good. Nice little upgrade. Uh, I don't know if I'll do anything else to the exterior of the car. The The only other thing I was considering was uh, I saw Dev Sport make some side splitters for the side. And I've got like the full HFP kit so yeah so I might get those currently over here painting the uh, the engine cover uh, did a satin black Rustoleum so and uh, once it warms up Probably towards the end of this month. It's pretty warm today, but probably once the end of this month rolls around, I'm going to throw these back on. RPF1, so with the Treadwear tire letters. Pretty nice. So, yeah, hopefully, get those back on and uh, have some more. Uh, some good fitment other than the stock wheels but uh yeah so just want to make a quick video on that sorry i couldn't do an install video just got caught up too caught up in it probably took me total like i'm gonna say like five six hours like just messing around like trying to get it lined up because there's no holes drilled in it so you kind of have to line it up yourself and um yeah, once you uh, once you get it lined up, then you gotta add it all clamped down and everything so it wouldn't move. And uh, yeah, so came out pretty good. Just hope it stays on. Chan, I need to clean this engine bay too. 
maybe some more uh, mods of that. But for now, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comment below. Give the video a like. Thanks for watching.